pleasant surroundings, good food, food well prepared and served. No matter what type of restaurant, whether the coffee is made from a glass pot or poured from a silver urn, a quick snack or a hamburger or dinner in a plush night spot, a school cafeteria serving hundreds of children or your local coffee shop serving your mid-morning coffee break. All these have one thing in common, hands. This food, the health of your customers, is in the hands of the food handlers, in your hands. I'm a registered sanitarian, which means I'm licensed by the state to carry out educational and inspectional duties and enforce the law in the field of sanitation. As you accompany me on an inspection of a few typical restaurants, you may better understand my job and how we can work together to provide a higher standard of sanitation. This place is an example of excellent cleaning and maintenance. It's old and has been added to as the business grew, and it doesn't have the advantages of a modern layout and facilities. But the men who manage this kitchen know that every detail must be looked after. All it takes is soap and water, a broom, some rags, a mop, and men who will do the job. Clean dishes, glasses, and silver must be stored in a clean place. Shelves must be easy to clean, glasses and cups upside down, handles toward you so they can be picked up without fingering the eating surfaces. Many cases of food poisoning come from dirty cutting boards, an ideal place for bacteria to grow. Even a well-run kitchen such as this might overlook a few small cracks in the cutting board. An efficient hood for the stove will do a great deal to keep a place clean. It is hard to keep a range clean, especially the corners. It is easier if you keep at it all the time, instead of waiting for a big load to accumulate. The steam table is another place often neglected, but it requires just as much attention constantly. Keeping food clean is sometimes a matter of protection. This compartmented refrigerator prevents food from being contaminated by other containers and foods. Under a refrigerator is a good place to watch out for rats, mice, or insects. The slicers, grinders, mixers must be taken apart daily. If they're not, you can be sure that bacteria will find them an ideal breeding ground. Clean uniforms and a place to change and store street clothes is a good idea and an important part of cleanliness. Good service is important. It, perhaps more than anything else, brings the customer back. But good service is more than a pleasant smile and friendly efficiency. There are some tricks of the trade, and it takes a lot of skill. A good waiter or waitress is as concerned with the health of the public as with catering to its whims. Clean uniforms, both behind and in front of the counter, is an obvious example of this. Nobody's likely to notice if you hold a plate properly when it's served, but they certainly will if you don't and your thumb gets in their food. Most customers, whether they put down a dime for a cup of coffee or an extravagant tip for a meal, want to be treated as guests in a fine home. But even an experienced waitress can make a slip. This one shows us how easy it is to forget and let your fingers touch the insides of used glasses and plates. Germs and bacteria can quickly be transmitted this way. The correct way to clean a table protects you as well as the customer. 
I've asked this bartender to do some things he wouldn't normally do. He covers his cough, but what about the ice? Everything that comes off his hand goes into the drink. And no matter how generous the bartender, nothing will stop the customer from getting full benefit of the extra dividend. Wiping the customer's cigarette ashes from the bar with his hand won't help matters. Just as an ice scoop protects the customer from anything the bartender gets on his hands, proper glass washing is another good protection. Just polishing with a towel won't help, especially after he's coughed in his hands and wiped them on the towel. If a customer is going to get sick, let it be from natural causes. Small restaurants have their own special set of problems. When there are only a few people to do all the chores of running a small restaurant, it is hard to observe good sanitation practices, but it must be done. All equipment, including counters, must be cleaned regularly. Cream and sugar must be kept safe from flies and dirt by proper containers. When I inspect your restaurant, I have a checklist to see that good sanitation is being practiced. I check on such items as these. Dirty dishes that are contaminated by customers, by their sneezing, by their breathing, by the surfaces that touch their lips. Be careful not to touch these areas. This protects you, the food handler. Proper storage of cold foods in shallow pans, three inches deep, is essential. Keep cold foods cold and hot foods hot. Garbage attracts flies if the cans are not well covered and the area is not clean. Lids must be tight and always in place. Flies repel customers and spread disease. Of course, all the work spent in keeping a place clean will be wasted if the food handlers don't keep themselves clean. Washing your hands should be a frequent item. Pushing up the sleeves, using plenty of soap, Scrubbing well on palms, backs of hands and fingers, this is the correct way. Careful rinsing and drying complete the process. Remember, clean hands is a part of your job. The health department inspects your establishment to see if it meets the minimum requirements of the law, written to protect the health of the public. Preparing food in large quantities requires just as much attention to good sanitation. This school cafeteria is a good example. Hair nets keep your hair neat and also keep it out of the food. There would be little food poisoning if everyone observed the practice of keeping hot foods hot and cold foods cold. That turkey for tomorrow's sandwiches, if left on the table to cool, would be an ideal place for dangerous bacteria to grow and multiply. Put it in the refrigerator immediately. Frequently check to see if your refrigerator is running at the proper temperature. Remember to be safe Cold foods are foods under 40 degrees. Keep hot foods 140 degrees or over. People like their hot foods hot and their cold foods cold. But bacteria like everything lukewarm. Thus, if you satisfy your customers, you don't have to worry about bacteria. For in general, bacteria like the same foods that people like, meats, gravies, dressings, cream pies, and potato salad. Even here in the serving line, good sanitation comes into play. Plastic gloves are used to prevent contamination. The principles of good dishwashing are the same here as in any restaurant. The main point is care and constant attention. An automatic machine like this can be a big help, but even it needs a check to make sure the temperature is high enough. Lukewarm water 
won't kill germs. Their health, the health of your customers, is up to you. Your hands handle the utensils. Your hands arrange and prepare the food. Your hands set the table. Your hands take the orders and serve the food. And they clean up when eating is finished. Clean up ready for the next customer. Keeping your hands constantly clean is a part of your job. Good sanitation is in your hands.